Hey, we are live. It's Sunday, March. I don't know what day it is. I think it is the 17th, but I'd have to take a look here. But that will be in the description, so I guess it doesn't matter if I say it here. But we're going to do a channel timeless reading and a full channel mode session. I might be switching it up this live, so you'll know about that if you're watching on YouTube, of course, because you will be seeing what's up. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? Oh, sometimes I like hit the go live button and like I'm out of breath because I was like running around or something beforehand and then I'm like like sucking up air and like the second the video starts. <laughs> hey Queen of Swords, how goes it? It's going, it's going. Hey Spirit of Love, good to see you. Hope you are rocking it in the world. Hey Stacy, hey Francis. Hey, lame chick. I am doing well. Deb, how's it going? <laughs> Love that. Perfect. <laughs> how's it getting any better? Okay. Um, I know we have like just, oh my gosh, why can't I, I feel like I am out of breath today. I'm not sure <laughs> what's going on with that. Um, hey, that's awesome. Spirit of love. How's it get even better? I'm so glad to hear it. Channel is getting awesome. Manifestations coming in. May it continue. May the great things continue and happen for the highest good. I'm happy for you. Okay. So we're doing something different today. I am, um, it's funny if I were to be, um, what's the best way to say it? straightforward, I guess, or honest. How art thou? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm doing well overall. Um, I might be doing a shorter live today instead of like the standard thing. My, and maybe I can chat with you guys a little bit about it while we're just starting out here. Cause I, I do plan on doing at least a collective reading and a full channel mode session and maybe just making the collective reading a little bit longer. Uh, and doing like a channeling session that's maybe like 30 minutes instead of like 15 to 20 though. You mean they'll, I mean, they'll wrap it up whenever they wrap it up, but got a whole coffee. Heck yeah. Um, just as a, just as a heads up so you guys know what's going on. So I, it might just be a, a bit of a shorter session today just to conserve my energies. And I do want of course, desire to make sure you're getting what would be for the for you to get out of this, but I might have to switch these lives up a little bit, but we'll see what, you know, going forward, but I will let you know what that's going to look like or what's going to happen, of course, as that evolves. So that's been just something that's been, something that's been on my mind lately to, to talk about. So let's try that and maybe uh, in between all that or after that, we can feel like, a, I don't know. I know if we start feeling questions, it'll turn into a, <laughs> it might turn into a, a smorgasbord, but that's okay. Maybe we'll field a few questions at the end or something too. So thank you, Court Kelly Orlando lover. Um, thanks, Andy Pandy Pie. Yeah, and the challenge for me is, oh man. I'm not, maybe I should have sat with the words before I started this live. <laughs> like I just, I do like, I'd like to make sure like you guys are still getting value from it. And it's like a win-win situation, I guess is the best way I could say it for the highest good of, of everybody involved. Um, in that way I can have energy to put into other things that will be of service, you know, um, going forward. Um, that or better. But we'll all let you know. You'll you'll hear me talk about it. It'll just be happening, you know, in the future too. So, but I do appreciate the uh, the support though. Um, so we'll just start with that, and we'll see how it goes, and we'll see what happens in future lives. So, I'm gonna take one second to settle down. I don't know why I feel so nervous um, saying that, but or maybe I'm picking up on someone else's stuff, but. I guess, since we already got that out of the way, let's start the collective reading and just see where it goes from there. 
And I'll still use the collective sign here. So I'm gonna unmirror. The collective reading, of course, is just meant to be for whoever is here watching this, whether it's here live or later on YouTube, it's meant to be timeless. So for whenever you're seeing it, and I'm gonna be channeling my spirit guides, the angels and source. Oh, let me read this. We appreciate your time and effort always, but the four to five hours has to be exhausting. Yeah, it's a bit much. I <laughs> um, hey, abundance of joy. Um, it's glitching. Okay, thanks for telling me it's glitching before I started the reading here. So is it glitching for everyone else or is it just a couple people or what's going on here? Um, yeah, the lame No, totally. I think um, it's probably been a bit much and it served its purpose, but it's probably time to switch it up for me. It's okay. You're, I'm good over there. You're good over there. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm not glitching. Okay, stop glitching for Kathleen. Cool, okay. All right, well, I'm getting to start the reading. So let me restart my spiel. Um, not, that was like supposed to be a rewind noise and it did not sound like a rewind, rewind noise, I'm sure, from your end. So um, yeah, you're a giver. Yeah, I think it's time for me to balance that out a bit more. Um, Cause I do, I do get and think that giving's part of my makeup. Um, but I have to switch it up so I'm receiving more, if that makes sense. And uh, I forget my north node. I used to really know it, but I don't remember it anymore. Um, you do too much. Thanks, Abundance Love Joy. Uh, <laughs> straight to the heart. I love it. Um, <laughs> I like the straight shooters out there. Um, straight shooters, with you have compassion, too. I'm not saying this, you lack compassion, Abundance Love Joy, because you do it perfectly. Um, the way you straight shoot, but um, I just for a broader sense of what I'm saying, a straight shooters with compassion. I, 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 and maybe with the right amount of tact, which you have tact too, about in Slow Joy, as far as I've seen, um, you you do. So, uh, but I just wanted to clarify, I think, for the general um, thing I'm saying that <laughs> when things speed up, the messages are more intense and just as valuable. Perfect. Um, Um, cool. All right. So I, I've been, uh, I've been saying I was going to start the ring and then I've been chit chatting, which is fine. Will I be doing another membership live? Yeah. So the next membership live, uh, queen of swords is going to be next week. And for anyone tuning in who has no idea what I'm talking about, I have a, um, I have a monthly membership. And one of the things that happens with that is a live that I do exclusively for the members. That's going to be next Saturday at 6.30 p.m. Central time for um, the gold level members. So uh, just so you know. Okay, sorry, I I don't need to apologize, but I have been not starting this reading. So let me put the sign down and put it back up for my editing purposes and time stamping the video for YouTube. But collective reading is meant to be just for whoever sees it whenever they see it. Um, yeah, it'd be great to see you there, Sarah, uh, next Saturday. Or maybe it's this upcoming Saturday. It's the 23rd, I think. So in like a week. <laughs> but anyways, collective reading. Can I? I, I <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I've tried to start this reading like five times and um, uh, it's fine. But um, okay. Collective reading meant to be for you whenever you see it here now or on YouTube. I'm going to channel my spirit guides, the angels and source for you. See what's coming through for your highest good, what you need to hear, what would um, be for your highest good, what would help you out. So I'm getting the start, the start, I said almost said start button, but there's the sign that they give me to start. So let's do this here. So I know this has been a message that's come through in some of the the live TikTok live readings in the past few weeks, I would like to say with like finish lines. And what I'm getting is we're all crossing collective finish lines now in big ways. And for some of you, it's just like one or two areas. For others of you, it's your whole life. And a lot of things are wrapping up and changing energies and the flavors of things are changing. And it is an upgrade. It might not seem like it in the moment with the way things are shifting sometimes, because it might look like a, a heavy conversation, for example, or it might look like, um, uh, you know, not trying to put this out there, but as an example, someone like breaking up, you know, or someone, um, the words I heard were like, it could look like someone breaking up with you, or it could look like, uh, it could look like someone coming into your life, conversely, you know, and not necessarily like an ending, but trying to judge the way things are ending or wrapping up right now. 
I'm not a huge, I'm really someone who's not always a huge fan of the word like karma or karmic because I think it's vastly misunderstood by um, a lot of people in the spiritual community. I'm not saying that's you per se. I'm just saying that's what I seems to, what I seem to have observed <laughs> out there. No, they're clarifying. That's something I have observed out there. But it could just be like the end of like certain karmic cycles if you use that term and that's like your jam and that helps you understand it better or um, things like that. So let me sit with what else I'd like to say regarding all that. The thing that I keep getting about this is that it's going to a good place. Like it's an upshift. It's um, the way they're showing it to me is if you're changing gears in a car, probably a manual car, uh, in this particular instance, it's kind of like if something happened where you were shifting gears and like the gears were like grinding a little bit before it like shifted, which is probably not ideal, right? For like a <laughs> uh, shifting gears in a car, but just, just kind of take the analogy as it resonates. So it might be a little bit uncomfortable as you're like moving things or as the, the car is adjusting or as, um, as things like adjust to the new gear, but things will get smoothly, excuse me, smoother and smooth eventually with everything. And the other thing is like, I'm getting this message, like you're hitting a new speed or we all are hitting a new speed that hasn't really been hit by us before, or it's been like rarer. So things are going to go really fast here soon in the next couple of months. And that's definitely something I've got. Like, um, there was a channel I was doing in the monthly membership that I facilitate it was the channel messages on March. And in that full channel mode part of that video, there was this message about like, hey, things are really gonna be moving forward like it's, and happening, like especially in the summer months of this year, 2024, potentially sooner as well. Like I'm getting Easter for some reason as a holiday with this in mind. Like you might have some lurches forward then or things are ramping up for big shifts that happen after or on Easter. So you don't have to put that as a hard and fast date, but just know that around this time period, things are really ramping up and there are big leaps forward coming for everybody here that you potentially don't even see coming is, is something like it might be surprising in some ways. But once again, I must remind you, because I know sometimes we get a little bit when like messages like this come up like, oh, am I going to lose this? So I'm going to, is this person going to do this? Am I going to lose this? And um, it's leading to a good place. It's like you're upshifting gears so you can go faster. You can get to your destination potentially sooner or just to a place you'd like to go. Um, and you won't be like stuck in like first gear this way. And maybe some of you feel like you've been stuck in like first gear. Maybe some of you feel like you've been stuck in reverse and you're just like going the wrong way. You're not, by the way, for those of you, which is probably not all of you who feel that way. Um, but just know what's happening right now is, and with all this that we're getting is needed, is pretty much what one of the things they're really trying to get to regarding all this here. So I'd be like ready for big leaps forward. You might have to be patient right now as the gear shift, but I would like to reassure you one more time, at least that it's going to a good place. So the next thing they like to get to, they're showing me a like, there's a spirit animal kind of things showing up here. There's a leopard was showing up. There's like a zebra really quickly. There's a toucan who showed up uh, last week for a different thing. But let me see what's going on with these spirit animals that the other thing is showing up are these like bright and shining gems for some reason. Like there's a topaz that's yellow. There's ruby like corundum. There's a well, there's sapphire. There's a lot of different like gemstones and, and also like raw pieces as well because the gemstones look pretty cut and like shining and then there's like raw things. So let me sit with like, because that's a lot of different visuals at once um, and there's a lot of like jungle stuff showing up again here. Like that showed up earlier with a different thing too. But let me see what the messages are with all the things showing up today with this at least. Mm. So Leopard is saying like, hey, it's time to attack things. And by attack things, I don't mean like literally going up and attacking people or energetically attacking people or anything like that. I don't think I needed to clarify, but it's more like attacking your tasks. It's like, hey, let's face things head on. Let's like, let's move, like let's take care of business maybe and leap at what you need to do. Like some of you, uh, uh, potentially a good portion of you have been like avoiding necessary things that would really help you if you just tackled them and got them out of the way because they're not as bad as you think is what I'm getting even if it's like potentially taxes for some of you or if it, you know or it, I know if it's timeless so if you're watching this in the future it might not be taxes but um 
something you need to do for your business, or maybe even uncomfortable conversations you've been meaning to have, changes you need to make. Like it's time to kind of face it head on. So it's no longer a drag on your world or on your mind because there's bigger, there are bigger fish to fry than a lot of, this sounds weird, but a lot of your worries is something I'm getting. And the more that you're tackling that you know you can and just get it done, things are just going to progress more smoothly is kind of what the leopard is saying with all this one. And the leopard is saying like, you're competent enough to do this. You might be afraid of certain results, but it's all going to be fine. So try not to get in your head about things you have to do. Just kind of, you know, just do it with the Nike, just do it kind of slogan showing up here as well. Uh, so they're switching it up now. And like there's an anteater is the next thing they're kind of moving towards here. And it's the word unconventional is showing up and it's about like unconventional solutions or unconventional things you might be going through and there are unconventional solutions to your problems is the message I'm getting with anteater because anteater he eats ants like that's not normal for the animal kingdom it's normal for him I guess it's exactly what he's supposed to be doing but <laughs> and it I was about to go on a side tangent really quickly where it was like it's funny how sometimes we judge the things that are just right for us because it's not necessarily normal for other people and we keep ourselves away from what's perfect for us sometimes because of that or some people might so i guess don't do that um that wasn't exactly what they were trying to get me to get to it was just it just flashed in as um something really quickly but going back to it with ant eater here mm, one i would be potentially be open to or be looking for unconventional solutions to some of your problems because there could be something that's just right for you you're overlooking or second guessing because it's not like everyone else or you have a story around it or someone else does you know is, is what I'm getting with this one so whether it's a problem in a relationship or it's a problem I'm not legal disclaimer not a not a doctor here but whether it's something with your health or it's so yeah and by the way uh Definitely get something checked out by your doctor if you're, you're worried about something, is my other legal disclaimer. Um, but coming back to the reading here, with that, just be open to new ideas that aren't your norm, and it could be the perfect solution, of course, is what has been coming through this whole time here. And Eater is kind of looking angry, and he's stamping his foot like there's more that needs to be said. So before I move on, let me see what else he's saying here. Um... The other thing he's saying is unconventional solutions are going to set you free. So try not to get tied up in things having to look a certain way or look like another person's at all. Like your freedom might be in something very unconventional for you, which is great. Whether that's um, a source of income for you and like a business or if that's even this, like something like I'm doing right now could be seen as unconventional by some people. And again, it's funny when it's your world, how it's like, well, this is just like the thing that I do with you know, or facilitate, So, <laughs> um, but to other people, not necessarily. So uh, again, with the anteater, unconventional thing might be perfect for them. So let's move on here. Um, they're also, the other thing with anteater is your path is unconventional. So try not to force yourself into a box or onto a conventional route. If you, if you know, like in your heart, if you know in your soul, if you know in your intuition, like that's not right for you, it's okay to temporarily go on that path, gain that experience. It, in this scenario, as I'm saying that, it turns into a bumpy road. Like you go on this like little thing, it's like, and it's like really bumpy. But, um, and you'd probably be off of it soon anyways. But what I'm also trying to say is don't judge your choices or if it looks more conventional or anything like that right now. Regarding whatever area this is talking about for you, second but you're probably going to desire to go the unconventional way it in this visual with what is showing up it's it obviously works better even though people might judge it so don't be afraid of people's judgments as well okay and eater's like okay we got it so let's move all, along here he's no longer angry at me for <laughs> missing his <laughs> part of his message or whatever <laughs> but let's go on to the next thing which is another spirit animal cheetah spirit animal showing up we talked about fast already but the word that shows up with cheetah is fast um it's time for you to speed up is what Cheetah is saying. I thought we kind of already talked about this, but I guess not. So let me see what he's trying to say, what the angle is with Cheetah Spirit Animal. Um, I think sometimes we take things slower than we need to in our life. It's like uh, we might have 10 things on our agenda, let's say, 
for like the week or the month. And then we're like, oh, I can just do one thing instead. Um, so I, sorry, I wanna make sure I really get this out to you correctly in a way that's gonna be helpful for you. It's like, you might need to kind of do all of it and like maybe even really try to have things speed up with like your efforts and what you're putting into certain things. Cause I think sometimes we think we can wait and sometimes we absolutely can. Uh, and sometimes we can't, you know, sometimes it's like, Hey, you have this window, um, strike, strike now. Uh, some of you are just like delaying things you don't need to when it's like, you kind of maybe need to be moving fast. And this definitely isn't, I'm not trying to freak you out with any of this or be like, Oh, freak out and try and do everything at once. And then it doesn't work because you're doing everything once. It's, <laughs> it's more like, look at what you know you need to do. And it's like, is there a way to tackle it? quickly or is there a way to get on the ball with it instead of kind of letting the ball roll away and then it gets like stampeded by like a herd of like buffalo or elephants and the ball pops and you're like oh whoops guess i did have to work on that thing um it's not the end of the world it's just kind of a reminder to get moving on something that you've been delaying unnecessarily i'm getting you guys get it they're like perfect they get it so i'm gonna hopefully you you get it um we're gonna move on here so next thing here the word reptile there's like an alligator there's so i know we're in spirit animal land and that's that's fine by me it's just the way it's showing up but um so let's see what's up with the uh there's like a gecko and what's up with these guys what's the message for you guys here the message is to stay away from cold-blooded individuals. And what does this mean? Um, people who are always like cold to you or who don't have your best interest in mind or, and I'm gonna try and get more detail on this because the last thing I would, sorry, I'm trying to make sure I phrase things in the best ways possible. I'd like to be free from you coming away from this being like, oh my God. And you're like paranoid about every single person in your life or something like that. Like, cause that's not helpful. <laughs> so they, they, you know, um, but the thing that they're talking about with a cold blooded person is like someone who'd like show you a sweet face and then they'd like backstab you or someone who would, um, it's almost like they would show or it seems like they care or they put on like that face of caring, but they don't. And you know this deep down, like you probably already know this about an individual or something. And it's time to kind of keep your guard up or just like you just, the other thing is like, you don't have to tell them everything. You don't have to tell everybody every single plan you have, everything you have going on in your life. You can kind of keep things close to your chest and um, a lot of great things have been built in secret are words I'm hearing as well. Um, you also just don't have to give them their, your, your whole life story. If you feel like this is someone in your life and you, you kind of know who this is talking about. So kind of keep things to yourself a little bit, you know, or as much as feels right to you regarding this. Um, it's someone who's cold hearted because they haven't really done as much healing work and they might be someone who wishes ill is something I'm hearing, which is not something I'd ever hope for you or, or anyone. I think, um, as people, or if people were to get more healed and healed and healed, that would be less and less and less. And um, I get that as the world shifts, it will be less and less and less. And that might that might be far in the future, by the way. I'd love it to be sooner, uh, but it'll happen at the right time, you know? So I wanna see if I can get more on this to help you out here. Just like if you know who this person is or it like really strikes you or someone kind of shows you their true colors with that, just don't keep pretending like they're not that way it's okay to move away or to take a different choice or direction and kind of escape the in this instance the reptile is not a favorable thing that it's representing for you and it's a person is what i'm getting specifically as well could be in a job could be family member i, I wish i was getting like a really 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 specific thing but um you'll know who this is is what i'm getting try not to try not to side eye everyone in your life after this reading or something like that um, so anything else on that before we move on here? Again, you're going to know who this cold-blooded person is. Don't worry about it. Let's kind of move. Well, there's one more thing here. Um, the thing is like, it's very easy to see who this person is. If you're paying attention, it's easy to catch on because they've never been particularly warm to you or caring probably whatsoever unless it like benefited them like this doesn't sound good at all but um okay i don't want to spend too much time on this either but i feel like you will move away from this person so just pay attention you know um and just kind of see what's shown to you as well 
The other thing about, yeah, there, there might be someone who like pushes everyone away as well. Okay, let's move on here. Next thing they're showing me is this galaxy. We're escaping reptile land. And what's up with the, I know there was like a lot that came through earlier with like, you know, gemstones and, and like zebra, but we'll, we'll get to all that here. One second here. So funny enough, we talked about the zebra and we're in the galaxy. Now it's a cosmic zebra. And he, for some reason, zebra one has been showing up as had like tiaras on and, and things like that, that it was wearing a lot the past, like probably just this year, maybe the end of last year as well. Like I'd circle it with a gem in it or something like that. And the zebra's like, hey, come with me, like hop on. And um, there's some like hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy stuff going on. Like, cause there's a towel on the back of the zebra you jump onto and there's all this kind of ridiculous stuff happening. Like now the zebra's wearing a party hat. Um, so we're going on this journey here and it looks like a really terrible, like <laughs> 2000s era, like clip art um, YouTube movie adventure, like a neon cat type thing or something. So let me, where, let's see where this is going here. So the cool message is there is a unique you that's birthing and you might be, some of you, what's the best way to say this? Can I get the words, please? tempted to stifle it or suppress it or that thought might Christ cross your mind. I don't feel like you will. I feel like you won't do this, but uh, as tempting as that might be, please don't because the world needs more different and unique and more you. That was a strong message last week. And the world needs like, maybe sometimes like it seems ridiculous or it's like humorous, you know, or, or something like that. And that can really change things and raise the vibration with people laughing and you think it's not important because there's things like world hunger or, or wars going on, but it's like, what if, um, and there, there's a whole conversation to be had around that, honestly, on like what's for the highest good for you to do. But even if your role is to raise the vibration in a different way, like that's doing something, you know, that's impacting the collective. If you're putting out funny videos, for example, and people are really loving it, like that could shift things. Actually, they're telling me to tell you something different. That's I'm kind of going into a little segue here, but I had this weird thoughts or like visual or thing where I was like, what would happen if we had this, like, I hesitate to use the word army because of the connotation, but this army or very, very, very large group of people, like let's say, hundreds of thousands and like either we all gathered in like one area or something and we were just in straight up like joy not like on drugs not like um anything like weird or like forced but like genuinely like in joy and like on fire with life in, in like a good way and like we just like flooded the streets like even in like an area that was like not where a lot of people were happy. And it's like, would the people who are like, what the heck's going on? Why are all these people so happy? Like, would those people kind of be like, oh, I should be joyful too. And like, start to kind of like move into that direction with the rest of the group. Um, or they'd be like, oh, it's okay to have joy. Or like, oh, people are happy in life and people are joyful. Like, like what? how would that change things if like a huge part of the population on earth just like started living in joy and like peace and just like, yeah, like we're alive, it's awesome. And like, would it turn off some of the, um, it's like, well, how would that shift things? Like who else would start to join in who doesn't think they have permission or they think, they think the world sucks because they watch the news all the time or because that's everyone else's story they seem to be have going on. And so, um, don't discount what you're bringing if you're changing things in a positive light, even in a small way, or you're a comedian, for example, or you're doing something that seems small or silly, but it's actually could be huge um, long term or with a butterfly effect or on the world stage. So don't discount your role or the impact you bring with something different you do. It's part of what Zebra is saying. The other thing is he's there was this whole thing about like going on your journey. I feel like that's a phrase that... I could, it sounds a little bit broad, but there's something to it. I could delve into deeper. Some of you have heard it. Like if you've taken certain classes with me, um, you kind of know what I'm talking about with that. But with the go on your journey message here, let's see what this is about here. So in some ways it's about, as we've been talking about, like being the different you that you be or unique you is like not caring what people think and allowing that to be one of the differences you make is being as different as you be and allowing people to think whatever and they'll come around at the right time the more you just keep doing you in, in most instances like um the impact of you being and, and doing you is is huge if you're not dimming that down for anyone 
And sure, like you're not gonna go to someone's funeral and be like, why are you guys sad? Let's dance and play and like screaming in people's faces. Like you can <laughs> approach each situation with wisdom and, and discernment. But in general, you know what I'm saying with this where that actually does have an impact and actually is important. So don't neglect that or think it's too silly or or not belonging. Zebra's getting a little bit mad, so I'm not totally hitting the message quite yet that he's trying to get fully. So let me get back with Zebra Spirit Animal and and spirit guides, angel source, see what they have to say about this more fully here. So the cool message is like, this is different than what we were just talking about, but your next path is unavoidable because you're kind of like going through space on the zebra and then you got sucked into this like wormhole. And then they're saying like, your next path is unavoidable. It's like you being you is unavoidable. The things you're here to do are unavoidable and they're coming to you. And it's maybe it's like a magnetic attraction where you're both like, you just like in this like, two points in space colliding or something like that, where it's like you're being brought to exactly where you need to do and, and vice versa. So try not to get second guess your path right now. Try not to like turn around and go the opposite way. If you're on a unique journey or you're afraid of some of your next steps towards like greatness, for example, are the words I'm hearing. You're actually on the right track. And sometimes when we get afraid, sometimes is exactly when we need to push through like regarding our next steps. Um, they're telling me to tell you this, which is why I'm going to tell you this, but like the next, or sorry, the most recent, what's the best way to say it? I just facilitated a full channel mode session for the um, the monthly membership. And the whole theme was overcoming, like courage and overcoming blocks. And like a lot of it was about overcoming fears. So collectively, there must be something going on with that, <laughs> with some of the shifts that are happening and the shifts inside of us that are happening and the roadblocks per se we might have to overcome or our own fears we might have to overcome to hit our next level or get to our next steps. Um, let me make sure I'm saying this right. Just to just know like those might be some obstacles coming up that it's time to overcome or just like that fears you encounter before you make a breakthrough and try not to turn tail and run the other direction. But again, I don't think you will overall because either way you end up doing this thing is what I'm getting with like your next steps or your your path that's calling to you um, or, or your calling that's calling to you. Just know you're being magnetically drawn to it, I guess. Uh, unavoidable. The cool thing though as well while we're talking about all this is I do get that row bumps are smoothing out uh, for you guys soon. Mm, and let's see if there's anything nope, else on that here. You might be expecting things to be bumpy right now because of the past. And there might be signs, at least it seems to you, that it will be bumpy again but it actually like, it won't, it's like things are gonna take a, a, a positive, I guess, left turn or a different direction. And it's um time for the past not to repeat, uh, no matter how similar it seems. It's like, this is the time where that kind of cycle breaks. So I feel like I just like flew through like five different messages with the zebra in space, but I hope this is all landing and making sense to you as we go through this here. Next thing they're showing me is a I'm not sure like if this gets flagged on TikTok if I say this, but it's a beer bottle and someone's like opening it essentially. Um, it's like a Corona. And um, in case this might just be for like one of you, but try not to drink too much um, if things are a little bit difficult. Like try to really process your feeling. Again, might not be all of you. Try to really like process your feelings and like let things move through you. Cause it's like, that's for some of you, that's been the missing piece in the past is not processing certain things. And uh, I hesitate to say this, but that might be the only thing that's like, I don't want to freak you guys out, but that might be the only thing that's attracting certain similar experiences to you is the not processing certain things. So do your best not to numb out right now, but like sit in journal or hire a therapist if you can, if that's where you're at with, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's not a weakness. Um, sorry, someone's trying to go live with me and I'm like, no. But just know that's not a weakness for you guys um, if you have to get help. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen Thor Ragnarok, but when they said get help, it was like a, there that scene where Thor's like, let's do get help. And he has to like throw uh, Loki at the, the, the bad guys, I guess, in the movie. But anyways, in case that's a sign for you. 
Let's come back to what would be if that's going to come through for you guys here. Um, just do your best not to numb out right now. I know it's tempting, but it's it's not going to serve you. And Source is calling you in a different direction because especially if you have tools, like if you have energy healing tools or new things you can try or do, try that instead first. Um, but just again, I know I said it like five times, but numbing out is not the answer. So let's move on here. Um, and it's if this is also... I'm wondering who's here today that's <laughs> needing these messages. But if you are someone who has a crowd around you that influences you in a direction of, um, what's the, I, I don't know what I can really say on TikTok here, which is why I'm hesitating here with my words, but like um, stuff like um, substances that are a bit harder, if you will, um, or, or maybe even more dangerous or just potentially not healthy. Definitely not judging you if you've gone down that route before or if you are, like it it happens. Um, but if you've been trying to like get clean, for example, or stop numbing out, like try to set some boundaries or get some space or just walk away from, depending on what's right for you right now, you don't have to take the, um, you don't have to completely slice your life up right now, but sit with this. Consider kind of moving away from some of the influences that would get you back into that as an answer. They probably don't have your best interest at heart or they're maybe just not even in the place to be like, yeah, what's best for this person is if they like moved away from this group and just never touched any of this stuff again, you know, for example. So I know that's not for all of you. Thanks for being patient. If you're like, yeah, I don't do that stuff. It doesn't apply to me. But um, maybe numbing out applies in some other way. And you could look at is another thing I'd ask you to at least look at and see if that is something you need to move away from in any way, shape or form here. And of course, we kind of have to take it with balance because there is a certain amount of like maybe watching TV that's healthy or a certain amount of um, enjoying certain, well, I need to be careful with that, with that, but enjoying your life, of course, like it, we're not here to be, um, we're not here to be, what's the best way to say this? We're not here to suffer, I guess is the best way to say it, which I know opens up that can of worms of like, what, what, suffering, ah, and everyone has questions and then you know, we'll, maybe we'll get to it later, but um, what's the best thing to get to next here? Um, I guess that is a message though that they'd like to speak to now that I said that. Uh, you're not here to suffer. And if your story is that you are, maybe it's time to change that or look into that or dig into that and ask where you got that from. Because it might not be true and you might be able to create a whole different reality free from that if you're willing to dig into it and change it. So keep that in mind here. We're done with zebra. So we're kind of moving back to, let's get to the gems that came through earlier. Um, so it's like bright and shiny things ahead are what I'm hearing with this. And that's what's coming, which is really great. Trying to get distracted by every single shiny thing. There are some shiny things that's like, yeah, that'd be a great project, but you can wait. You know, like that can go on the back burner while you focus on the most important thing in front of you that is really kind of make or break right now, potentially. Maybe it's not that intense like make or break, but that's what I'm hearing. And um, be careful about getting pulled in 20 different directions right now when you could really focus on one or two that would make the difference. And then you might be able to do all 20 later or different things that are even greater mm, could show up. You know, take it as it resonates with all that, but just try not to get too distracted. But I'm guessing, no, I'm not guessing. I'm hearing there are really great things ahead regarding whatever this is representing with the, the gemstones that are shining. And um, here's another phrase I'm going to have to explain. Don't judge it as bad before it's good, um, which is like, if you start a new path and it doesn't work right away, don't like give up on it the first day, <laughs> you know, or if you um, started a new trajectory and something doesn't go right right away, like don't just like give up on it. The example that kind of hits, which is kind of like, um, not to put anything on any of this, but there were times in the past where I would try something online, you know, regarding like spirituality or building something and it like didn't, just didn't work the first time. And um, if I just never tried again, I probably wouldn't be here. Like, yeah, sure, maybe the divine guidance would have been like, no, you need to go and try this thing and, and do this thing and please go do it. Like, maybe it would have happened anyways, but um, and like maybe you 
you started a business in the past that's failed and you're like, never again, but maybe that's like actually the answer. It's just, you needed to do a different business, for example, or you kind of understand the gist, hopefully by now where it's like, or sometimes you meet someone for the first time and maybe they're having a bad day and they're kind of seem like dismissive of you, but they're actually a really great person. You kind of, depending on what your intuition says, you might desire to give them like one more chance or something like that. Things like that, where it's like, I think sometimes we expect things to be like, Yankee doodle dandy, nice and, and bright the second we like start a new trajectory. And then if it's not, we like turn tail and run back to what's comfortable. But what if that's just like one thing you have to move past and then it's perfect, you know, or just a, a learning curve you have with something. So try not to give up on two th things too soon if you're starting something new, I guess, or if something new comes in the future soon here um, for you to try. So at least one more thing here. They're showing me like a mountain range for you guys. So what's up with the mountain range? There's an eagle flying over it and there's the song Amazing Grace is playing. Um, there's, they're playing it, they're singing it, whatever, whatever is actually going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, hopefully. So what's up with this here? The cool message is that grace is on the way. Despite the challenges you've been through or what seems to be up ahead or the obstacles that seem to be up ahead, which might not be as big as you think or realize right now, that's not the right way to say it, as much as you think right now. Because like Ganesh is there as you're driving this car down the road and he's like in this police officer uniform with like a stop sign. And um, once he like stops and checks your identification, he's like, okay, you can go right ahead. And the obstacle just moves out of the way essentially. So um there, one of the messages with that is there might be things that look hard but aren't in your future, so don't shy away from challenges that might be in the way of what you would like to do, which we talked about that sort of a little bit earlier, but this might be different, so never mind. Um, and you might be like shying away from doing something you'd like to do because it looks challenging, but it's not. Um, an example popped in my head and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to go that. And they're like, no, tell them this, tell them this example. So the example would be like, if someone's really attractive to you and you're like, oh, they probably have people hitting them up all day. They probably that, da, 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 you know, all the things that people say to talk themselves out of what they desire. Um, <laughs> and um, it might just be a smooth road. Like if that's for you, it could just be, it just works out, you know, or that could just be someone who's like, you're exactly what they're looking for, for example. Um, and this is an example, by the way, this is not like, um, this isn't a twin flame reading right now or something like that, but just, uh, you know, it could be, take that as like, oh, you'd like to start this business. You're like, might be like, oh, that looks so insurmountable, but maybe if you got started on it, it's exactly what you were supposed to be doing and it started working and it wasn't as hard as you thought it would be, or you learn pretty quickly and you learn the ropes pretty quickly. And I, I think we just talk ourselves out of great things before we even try or ask and um, don't do that. You know, it's kind of what they're saying with, with some of that here. Um, so I know I've been rolling for a while. They're saying they're kind of done with that reading, but the cool thing with that message is that challenges might not be as big as they seem. I love that for you guys because, um, I, I don't know, obviously, I just, I love that. And I love when that's the case for me as well. Um, so I hope that helped resonate whatever is fries good. There's one more surprise message at the end with the grasshopper showing up here. And if you guys remember back in the day when grasshopper would show up all the time at the end of readings or <laughs> during readings, that was fun. But, um, they didn't necessarily want me to say all that, but that's okay, I said it. Um, so what's the message with Grasshopper here? Mm. So this message, this Grasshopper, okay, the message straight up is like, some of you think you're not okay to move forward, but you are. Cause this Grasshopper is like, oh, my leg. It's like the my leg fish guy from SpongeBob. <laughs> um, and I, I feel some of you laughing out there in response. So I know I found the SpongeBob people. There have been so many times they make like SpongeBob reference during like a class I'm facilitating and it's just like deadpan. I'm like, well, that makes sense. You're not, <laughs> you didn't watch SpongeBob and <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> or maybe you hated Spongebob and that's okay too. It's uh, it's all okay. But um, he's like, oh, my leg. And he's got like a bandage on his leg, but it's like, it's like imaginary. Like he, he's like totally fine. Um, and so for some of you, it's like, you think you're bad at something, but you're not. 
and you're, you're just like actually really fine and you just have this weird story for some reason like maybe an ex put like a story in your head that you suck at something but you're actually really good like art for example i usually kind of need to keep going with it and some of you it's like a business and you're like oh i suck at business but it's like is that true or do you just have a story in your head that creatives can't do business and you can only do creativity which is kind of sticking you like of course you can learn business you're <laughs> multifaceted individual like you can learn skills and and you can at least learn enough to get started and bring someone in for coaching or, or something else on the side to help you out if you do need it or, or a partner or something. But um, by the way, I'm not recommending a partner for your art business. That just um, just keep, keep the general idea in mind. Like there's ways around it or you can learn things. Sorry, not to like, actually, no. I was gonna say like, sorry, not to kind of like jab at that like um, helpless creative archetype, which is not a thing. I, I feel some of you are a little bit hot under the collar with that one. I'm not trying to attack you with all that, but I think, I think sometimes we're more capable than we think we are. And we kind of stick ourselves with like, oh, I'm creative. I don't get business, but creativity is needed in business. Like creative business people could be very successful. Um, anyways, um, some of you are mad about that, but that's okay. <laughs> um, the other thing, let me get the other messages with Grasshopper for you guys. And we'll, we'll kind of start to close this out here. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to deal with some energies here. Um, I mean, that was kind of the message. It's like, you know, don't stifle yourself because you think you can't do something, but you can, or you think you're injured in some way, but you're not, or, because it's like, um, the second this grasshopper would take a leap, he'd be like, oh, I'm perfectly fine. Like, I've, I've got this. So um, try to move forward anyways, unless you like know, like intuitively and in your heart of hearts, it's like, no, I need to like, take a break. I need to rest. I need to recover, which is not many of you is what I'm getting, which is great. Um, try to move forward even if you think you, think you can't in some way. Uh, and if you really can't, you'll know because then like the leg will actually be like, oh no, actually this is wounded. But you know, sometimes we also don't realize certain things until we try and we just kind of have to give things a shot. I know that sounds very, very straightforward and obvious, but I hope that lands for you and, and, and helps you in some way, shape or form and um, takes away some of your, if you, I mean, you don't have to have it taken away if you would like to hold on to it, but takes away some of the victim mentality that um, might have, some people might have around certain things um, that can really stick them. Okay, they were showing like a rock candy at the end as well here. And the message is usually when they show me candy at the end of a reading, it's like rewards are coming. And that's exactly what I'm hearing right now for, um, it might show up in different ways for you. Like for some of you, this is earned. You've been working towards it. It's an achievement. You see it coming. For others of you, it's out of the blue. It's just kind of like a really nice thing the universe is throwing your way. You deserve it, by the way. So just be open to receive that, I guess. And um, that's in the next month or two is what I'm hearing. Maybe three, but it's meant to be like sooner, not like uh, five years later, my rewards are here or something like that. So uh Okay, so I hope that helped to resonate whatever was for you guys good with the, um, and that was just a, that was a collective reading. It was just meant to be for like if whoever's watching it, um, you know, for you when you see it, whether you're here on TikTok Live or on YouTube afterwards or something like that. Um, hey, thanks, Moni. Mo Mo Moni, good to see you. Um, but I'm glad to hear it's good to hear my messages again, and I am doing well. Thank you. Ooh, there you go, Tara. That's awesome. Where I'm wondering if there's a place you think you're injured that you're not, um, even if it's about like the heart or something like that. But I'm not trying to call you out either. But hopefully that you know helps you. And I'm not. I'm not trying to be like mean. With it. I don't feel like it comes across as mean when I say any of these things. <laughs> I I really don't. But I really hope like you realize if I say something that is triggering, like it's meant to help you and and be for your highest good, not be like the mean man on TikTok yelling at you. <laughs> um, thank you, Tara. No, I appreciate it. And yeah, thank you, Rain. Thank you, Queen of Swords. I didn't I didn't feel like I came across that way, but um, you're welcome, Lori. Thanks for letting me know. It was a great collective. Um, thank you, Moni. Thank you, Kara. Um, sorry, sometimes I pause because I'm about to do something really like just uh, out there and weird, but it's probably would have been totally fine. I was about to go like meow, meow. Um, <laughs> so for anyone who wasn't here at the beginning, uh, sorry, they're re redirecting me here. I'm just going to let you guys know I'm switching the live up a little bit. So we're actually going to go into a full channel mode session here in a, in a, well, actually, are we doing something different? 
Yeah, so we're, I'm kind of switching the lives up a little bit. Doing a collective and then a full channel mode session was my my idea, at least for starters. We'll see how it evolves from here, how they have me kind of switch it up, but we're just kind of moving it around a little bit differently. Instead of doing the fire, earth, air, water thing, we're kind of, for now, putting a close on that um, indefinitely because I kind of have to switch these lives up. So um, I guess the best way to say is it's not taking too much, it, hopefully, if any, energy out of me because um, the long three to four hour lives were a bit much and um, I was happy to facilitate those for you, but I need to switch it up if that makes sense. So change is good, heck yeah. So we're probably gonna do just a longer fold. Well, we'll see what they do because they kind of wrap it up when they wrap it up. But I was thinking like, well, what if we do like a 30 minute full channel mode session, 20 to 30 minutes instead of like the 15 that we usually do at the ends or around 15, but we'll see what they do. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated on how this shifts. So let's see what would be for that's good to come through for you guys. I'm gonna drink water first and Most of you are familiar with my full channel mode channeling, but I'm gonna step out of the way, uh, jump into full channel mode, see what my spirit guides and angels and source would like to say directly through me. And there's the message that comes through. There's also an energetic transmission from source that does work for the highest good. Um, it can be like healing work. It can do, can create shifts and changes in your life for the highest good, it upgrades. There's a lot it can do. Um, I, I like to not limit it with what I'm saying, but that's a starting place to, that's a great starting place, you know, to understand it. And then it can also open your third eye and in intuition or your own channeling if you're meant to channel as well. So we'll just see what it does, you know, and my intention is that it's whatever would be for that, it's good for it to be today. As far as, sometimes I kind of sit with them, sorry, I'm burping as I start to release and, or you start to release or as I prepare and, um, Sometimes I usually get a theme ahead of time before I start channeling, but I want to see if they would like to give a theme for this before we start. It is about change, <laughs> which is funny, but um, what else is new, right? Uh, but let's see where they go with it because they might have some surprise angles they take or topics that they broach upon, and it doesn't really limit where they go when uh, they give a topic usually. It's usually pretty spot, it's usually spot on though with like what they, okay. I'm like pre-qualifying it too much and I need to probably sit with them for a second. It's about change, you'll understand, you know, of course, or it'll probably make more sense as we start. So I'm over explaining, I think, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> um, I'm gonna drink a little bit more water and then we'll just jump right to it. Okay, so give me like um, a few seconds to like a minute here and they will start and you'll know when that is because they do a little laugh and then sometimes I cough beforehand and then they just start, so. <coughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, evolving, changing, shifting, collective for you are in a crux point in your transformation on the planet as a collective and as beings here. And you have surprise changes on the way is one of the messages we would truly, truly like to get across to you uh, with this channel for those of you here for sometimes things get in a rut. They're uh, seemingly always the same. It seems like things are always going to be the same, but you have shifted enough internally, whether through these messages, your own devices, or other work you're doing on yourself and your world, that source has surprise changes for you. The other part of this, the other side of the coin is the collective shifts that are going on, timeline shifts, mm, track changes, work that other people are doing in the world to uh, shift things are also, uh, for the highest good, impacting you. So, as the collective changes form and shape in this mm, now period, but also coming year, uh, decade, and even 15 year period you are entering into in the next mm, six months or so here, you are going to have surprise changes around now. One, yes, because you hit that collective uh, crux point that you're in now and surpassed it. Because, and also because the new cycle is here. The new cycle has begun. So you might also see the changes in this mm, live format 
as a sign for that or certain changes you are undergoing or seeing in others around you as a sign of the times changing. And fear can rise when change rises its head because there's the question of, are you safe? On a deep internal level, on a societal programming level, on an ancestral level, on a DNA encodement level, sometimes the fear rises, am I safe for you? And you are. Newsflash. Uh, source would not have drastic changes for you if you were doing your work that were not safe on some level. And some of you might be looking in the past now with what we just said and saying, uh, where was that? <laughs> where was that source safety you're speaking of here? Where was my safety in that breakup? Where was my safety in... Mm, that familial change, uh, where was my safety in that job loss? Well, you're here, aren't you? And at the end of the day, even if you mm, were to die, you are safe on a soul level. Some of you forget that from one perspective, this is a sort of game. Yes, it's important. Yes, it matters. Yes, you uh, came here for various reasons and for various experiences. You came here for an impact. But also there's a part of it that's just a game as a soul. As seriously as your human mind would like to take it. And that does not mean that those mm, things that you take seriously or that matter to you do not also matter to us or your spirit guide team or your soul on a certain level. It also just means we have a bit more of a detached view and we see a broader picture. And some of your attachments as true, as real, as serious, as solid as they may seem, while there is compassion for all of it and all of your experience on a source level. On a big picture scale, those attachments are not always as serious as you think they are. You might be attached in love, for example, or at a job situation. And you might be thinking, oh, without this job, what would I do? Without this boss, what would I do? Without this friend, what would I do? Without this relationship, what would I do? but you don't see the 30 great options you have all around you if something were to happen to that attachment or thing you were attached to. You don't see the options you have in the future, five years from now, that could be the best thing that ever happens if you were forced to let go. And we say all this not to scare you or to freak you out or think all your attachments are going to get blown up. And we also say this not to make you think that source doesn't care about you or your feelings or experience. Uh, to the contrary, source cares more than most, but source also sees the truth and sees through them where your human mind not always does. It could, if you were to hone your intuition, you could see more or fully from a source perspective, at least more. Uh, more from a perspective aligned with your spirit guide team. And that would help you to let go. It doesn't mean you won't experience emotion or certain emotional reactions to things that occur. But you would see the truth behind it and more space around it it would often be easier for you to let shift. So, why are we talking about this stuff? It seems heavy to some of you. If you were to let go of your attachments a little bit, even in something that was very serious to you or mattered a lot to you, that very thing could shift to be greater directly for you. If you were to try not to control it, 
if you were to let it be all it could be, even if it were to transform into something you did not see coming. We are getting you to loosen your grip on the reins and on the ropes of your life, so to speak. We are not saying these changes are going to come and shatter you or your life. For some of you, it's going to make it. Again, it might be some of the best things that have ever happened. But if you're willing to let go a bit and see what Source has for you, even within certain situations you're clinging tightly to, or outside of them, if it comes to that, you might have a better life than ever before. For the collective is evolving. It's upshifting. It's a higher frequency bandwidth, if you'll allow it, that everything's moving towards. So are you willing to see the higher frequency versions of what you have right now is the question. Is the question. That's why we're trying to get you to let go. A little bit. Loosen your grip on the reins once again. You're headed somewhere great at least in the long run, if you'll allow it. You all have that possibility. The other reason we speak of change is because it's happening within you, in the core of you. It's because the collective is shifting in its core. Some of it is because a select few humans or humans with an influence have been doing uh, very deep work on themselves in the world, some without realizing it. It's just part of their makeup to be anchor points of change and collective transformation. And some of it's also you and the way you impact the collective with your work, the way you chip things around you. So in some ways, For some of you, this change that's coming is something you've earned or worked towards, and it's actually something to be celebrated. But what are you becoming? Who are you becoming? What is your soul urging you to become through this collective frequency shift that's hitting the, the planets and rocking some of your worlds right now? Many of your worlds, if you include your internal realms. And if you were to tune in intuitively, you would get that it is something greater, potentially than ever before. Greater than you've ever seen before. And it's time. So are you willing to let go of your old self, your old life, your old stories, your old frequency, your attachments a little bit, and see the change source has for you? Because in this instance, it is safe. If you will go with the flow on that, sources flow. The flow of the universe. Not the flow of society's beliefs. Not the flow of what everyone else around you is doing. Sources flow for you. Your soul's magnetism of what you need next. Some of you think the flow means just doing what everyone else is doing. That's not... In this instance, what we are speaking to, we are speaking of an energetic flow of ease and source's path for each soul. There's no wrong path for each of you. There are interesting choices. There are paths that don't fit what you're here to do so much, but you'll always be rounded back to the right path if you're paying attention. You all have something you signed up for. So it's a bit of a dance between what you are choosing and what your destiny is. But Source always has a way to get things to work out in the best ways for you. To get things to work out to get you to where you need to go. And some of you are so afraid of going the wrong way. At the end of the day, it's very hard to mess it up. Unless you are really trying or... Mm, really, really, really just don't have your head on your shoulders with the choices you're making. 
and you can't mess it up that badly. Sure, you could do something silly tomorrow and mm, try hard substances or something like that. We wouldn't recommend that. For the vast majority of you, uh, not exactly the path that would help you. But Source has a way to get you in alignment. Every time you take a wrong turn, every time you go backwards, and for some of you, the only thing that's sticking you is the fear of messing it up. But you can't mess it up if you're doing your best and trying. So will, will you let go of that story about going the wrong direction, making the wrong choice? Will you let go of judging your path, even with your past choices? So you can have it all. For if you weren't so worried about it, you were more in tune, going with the flow. Source could bring so many great things your way without you clinging, without you fearing messing it up. And you could just be in wonder of it all, as it all transpired, and as you did your best with all of it. Instead of clinging tightly, being afraid of messing it up, clenching onto things. Because who's to say that what you thought you did wrong was actually wrong for you or your soul's journey? Who's to say what's a mess up? Sure, you could have gone maybe one way in the past that could have led you to a successful business. But maybe you would have been around all the wrong people for you. were around influences that would have led you in the wrong path for your soul. So maybe in the past you did miss out on something you wish you could have had, but maybe there's a better version up ahead or something else that's for you that's fulfilling, that's true for you as a being and a soul. That would be all that and more. And you can invite that in if you feel like you've messed something up. Be like, okay, source, it seems like I might have made a mistake or went this way and it, there was this other great thing I could have had. Any way I could have a second chance on that, maybe in a different form. Any way I could still have that experience. You think things are so static. Oh, I messed up. Everything sucks. Everything's stuck. No, you can keep creating. You can create your way out of a hole. You can create your way out of a pit. You can create your way out of a wrong choice. And you can ask source for help with that. There is mercy. Uh, some of you think God is this unforgiving, uh, merciless, cold figure in the sky, looking down and judging your human lives. And of course, many of you have a much better relationship with the universe and, and source and your guidance team, of course. But we wish to remind you that cold figurehead in the sky silently judging everyone and wreaking havoc is not the truth of the situation. God, if you will use that term, is not going to punish you forever for quote unquote messing something up. What would you mm, like to go to from here? no matter how things went in the past, that your soul is craving, that source would guide you to, what's possible now? Because you're not going to mess your path up. We promise you. Pay attention and you won't mess up. And even if you don't pay attention, 
Maybe you're not supposed to for a time. We would encourage you to always pay attention, always stay awake, hone in your language with the universe through signs and synchronicities or divine guidance. However you operate or go beyond that, there's no limit. Some of you might invent new ways to converse with the universe through uh, your own workings with your soul or intuition. And we applaud you for that. We applaud you for honing your relationship with the universe in the ways that work for you. Hint, hint for the rest of you. Whether it looks similar to another or not. For yes, you could borrow that quote. You are all walking each other home. So you can learn from each other about intuition or working with the universe or signs, but you do have to go on your own journey a bit and let the universe teach you at times. And not just be reliant on other humans for your connection or relationship with the universe. For you are part of the universe as well. You are connected as well. You are here. It's not always necessary, depending on your path and role here, to be mm, as intuitive as someone else you might lean on, like a reader you book with for support or an intuitive friend. So we are not saying do it or else. We are just saying don't discount your own relationship and what that can do for you through these changes, but just in general. But we digress slightly. We will say once again, don't worry about messing up. Just create from here. As long as you're keeping your head on your shoulders, you can really do great things with that. So let go of the past. Let go of your mistakes. And you can say, Source, what will it take for me to do better next time? For this to work out better next time? What will it take to create what I'd like to see for real this time? And it will work out eventually. If you are doing your work, it will work out. One more thing you might see with these changes we started this uh, channel out with. The evolution of your soul is going to be front focus from here on out for the foreseeable future. For everything that happens, for everything that comes up, for every joyful thing that happens, for every twist and turn that happens on your path, there's a question. What is my soul asking for with this? What is my soul getting out of this? And that would skyrocket your human evolution. One, it forces you to look from a higher perspective. Two, it gets you in tune with your soul. If you were to talk with your soul more, channel with your soul, find a way that you work with your soul. And you could talk to your spirit guides about this as well if you're someone who channels does not have to be directly with your soul. You could talk to your spirit guides about your soul, what your soul is getting out of this, etc., or source, the angels, whatever works best for you that's uh, a higher power, if you will. Consider that question. What is my soul getting from this? With every change, your growth will skyrocket. Sometimes you might get from your soul, hey, well, you asked for money. This change is forcing you to get more money or will bring in opportunities that bring in more money. Might not look like it right now with the way things shifted just now, but uh, I promise you, if you trust this and do what you have to do right now, what you asked for is coming. The other thing it can do is get you out of the human game. So if you're looking at what your soul is getting out of something, you're no longer mm, judging things as a human would. So, your soul might say, hey, 
it's time for you to go date uh, XYZ person that you're really attracted to and have that experience. You've done the work for it. You've uh, healed your hearts. It's time. And you might have a human fear. Well, what if uh, people judge me as shallow because this person is attractive and I'm turning down someone else that I'm not as attracted to and my friends might judge me or my parents might judge me or you might have an amorphous fear of society and people judging you that might not be real. <laughs> might be, might not be, depending on your circumstance. And your soul's like, no, we need this experience. You need to experience joy. You need to see the truth of this situation. Mm. And it's giving you hope. Hope that things can work out for you. So that's just an example. But you might be getting more from something on a soul level than you realize. On the mm, human level. So don't be afraid of the changes. We are going to leave you there. It has been a joy to channel for you. And the shift you are going to notice are one of the um, intentions with the frequency is ease with change and ease with releasing what's in the way of optimal change and ease with who you're becoming, which is a big deal. Many of you, the version you're stepping into, you would not think was possible for you 10 years prior, five years prior, two years prior for some, though that one's a bit rarer. So celebrate that. Celebrate that you're ready for something that was seemingly never possible for you before, even if just in your head, for it is here or can be soon. And for some of you, will be soon. We are sending you love and peace through transition. And we look forward to channeling for you more in the future for those who will return. Farewell for now. Signing out, the Angelic Collective of Zorbital and Source. Take care. <coughs> Woo. Unbelievably spot on. Perfect, Hannah. You're welcome, Greta. You're welcome, Tanya. You're welcome, Kelly. Full body shivers, perfect. Whew. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome, Dana. Um, really felt that, perfect. Good stuff, good stuff, heck yeah. <laughs> yes. You're welcome, guys. Um, Uh, would take again and ask, Brandon, you mentioned talking to your soul. Is that different from talking to your higher or highest self? Not really. It's pretty similar. Um, even if you have a differentiation between the two, it's pretty similar as a process. Kind of the same thing is what I'm getting. Perfect, Dana. You're welcome, Dab. So glad to hear it was just what you needed. Perfect, Ania, if I'm saying that right. You're welcome. Um, wow, okay. So uh, yeah, sorry about the, well, I don't know if apologies is the right way. I know it's a little bit odd with the, um, cause sometimes about an hour plus in, there's like a, hey, if you don't do this little puzzle thing on the screen, we're shutting off your live cause we don't think you're here that TikTok does. <laughs> and I'm, um, Glad that was caught, I guess you could say, so that we could keep going for you with the channel. But um, if we keep doing um, the shorter lives like this, I'm not sure 
<laughs> uh, maybe I'm just going to have to channel with my eyes open a bit more, but. Ooh, interesting. Honeycomb will head out. Fascinating. Well, source is your highest self in a sense. So I guess depending on your framework, but yeah. So can I do a timer? Probably I'd have to figure out exactly what time it goes on though, <laughs> or if it is always the same time or if it's slightly different. So I, I could definitely try. Um, what do I think about the April 8th eclipse? I think it will be a potent shift. I'd probably have to channel on it more. Um, I do get there's probably going to be some type of collective shift. I mean, obviously, like eclipse usually, eclipse season usually is really big shifts or, or something happens with them, but. Hey, Jessica Johnston. So, um, probably gonna start to wrap up the live soon. I might just take, oh my gosh, I know chat's about to go wild, maybe, or maybe not, a couple questions to channel on. Um, li literally just like one or two. Um, I might just hang out for a little bit, but just so you guys know if you're just tuning in or if you just caught some of the last bit here, I'm gonna probably be just be doing the lives a bit differently. So we'll do like a collective reading and then a full channel is my idea. Um, Um, yeah, new live format. Oh, that's funny. I was just talking about it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just doing like a lot, like a, maybe like a 30 minute channel timeless collective reading. So whether you're here live or on YouTube, it still applies. And then like a, maybe like a 30 minute full channel mode session. We'll, we'll see. I mean, maybe slightly longer or shorter is my new idea for the format. Just so, um, the, like the three to four hour thing, it, was just taking too much out of me. And it's nothing like wrong with you guys about that. It's more just, I just need to honor my time more and my, maybe my energy needs more. Maybe that's not the one, but at least my time and um, potentially be able to do more things besides this live, you know, on, on Sundays too, depending on what it's for the highest good for me to do. Um, cause I'm kind of wiped out. Like whenever I do these, like I don't really do much beforehand. Then I'm wiped out afterwards and then I'm wiped out a pretty good amount the next day. And then it's kind of like back to work the day after that. So it's kind of like, well, that took a lot out. And, um, I have to look at, there's like a, a lot of different things. I guess I'll just talk about it. There's a few things I'd like to look at with this. It's like one, um, making sure it's fully for the good and there and valuable for you guys absolutely has to be the case or it's like, what are we doing here? Um, two, it's like, um, I have to look at, sorry, what is the, straight up, I have to look at what the return on investment is at certain points here. Cause if I'm just giving, giving, giving all the time and it's not returning enough as much as I love to, cause yes, in some ways, like facilitating work for the highest good. And like, I know it helps you guys and you tell me like, that means the world. And that means a lot. And that's in a sense like its own fulfillment. At the same time with everything else I have going on, it also has to do that, but be something that's returning a bit more back to me too. Otherwise it's like I'm taking time away from other things I could be doing that's helping people, but also like bringing what I need in for myself and my business, if that makes sense. Um, and I, the thing is like, it can't be all about that either. Cause like, there's gotta be some sort of like, this is for the highest good and helping people too. But then I also have to look at my energy and my time and what's that taking away from what else I could be doing. Um, whether it is just for my life or just for other things I'm doing that could help people that's like kind of getting, um, taken away. So, and that's like, hopefully you understand what I'm saying and put, picking up what I'm putting down. Cause it's nothing like wrong with you guys. And it's not like, um, yeah, I just, I just need to find more of a balance with it. Um, what year? Am I still offering one-on-one -on -one sessions? I clicked a book and noticed they weren't there weren't dates. Yes, I have to open. Um, I just booked up for March. I need to open up for April in the next couple months. So I'll get on that tonight, and um, we'll we'll deal with that. 
Oh, perfect. I love the new format and especially your self-honoring. It felt complete for me. No complaints here. Perfect. I think this will be what we'll start doing for now then. Um, Oh, thank you, Otaku Ganon. Sid the Space Pig asked, is my relationship going to be changing? Not in a bad way. I get yes, but it might be slower than you expect. Um, and it's not as bad as you think. And it could just be the dynamic, you know, too, like over time, which, which is obvious, like, of course, that tends to happen. But um, that was what I was getting with that one. I was just, I actually just had the thought today that it's been wild that you put in three, four hours every day Sunday. Yeah, that's something that like was something I like, setting a great example. Thank you, Cowtippa. Yeah, and I have to look at that angle too. There was something in me that maybe had a bit of, I don't want to say pride, but I was like, yeah, I'm giving so much. I'm putting in so much work. But it was also like, um, at the end of the day, like, okay, that's great. But is that really serving me? Is that smart? And at the end of the day, is that also serving like who is that serving at the end of the day if it's not a balanced giving and receiving, you know, or contributing and receiving or whatever? Um, timing of the change makes sense. Felt it coming, probably. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. Does see the X guide your clothing choice? Thread is fitting for what I think is happening collectively. Um, yes and no. Usually yes. Like I'll usually be like, hey, what would be nice good for me to wear today? And I'll kind of approach that intuitively, but they're like. They're like, sometimes he just throws something on. And sometimes they like talk to you guys, third person, like through me. But some, they're like, they're pretty much saying sometimes I just throw things on. And so it's not always <laughs> um, like that. But I usually like to check in intuitively with a lot of everything I do. Oh, man. I felt your lives were too long to be doing for free. You guys were thinking this the whole time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they probably were. I think you're totally right, um, Dana. And if I, if it'd be one thing if it was like, um, since we're just on the topic, I think it'd be one thing if I were like, if we're going on YouTube and it was getting like hundreds of thousands of views and it was bringing in a ton of business for the other things I was doing. And it was like um, bringing in YouTube revenue or something like that. And I wouldn't mind that, but I think um, I've, I've loved the the lives and I've loved facilitating it, but the call to change has been there for a while and I just haven't known what to do until a bit more recently with trying things. So, um, Greta, should I move on from my past relationship or wait? Uh, why do I feel on the fence when I ask that question? Let me stay with it for a second here. Mm. You know, my usual gut reaction is if it's like a past thing is, is move on. But if I don't get anything, usually it, it comes right away, but it might just be like, hey, it's time to close the live down, like stop doing this question thing. <laughs> Let me sit with it just a, a second longer, just in case I get something for you though here. Um, here's what I get, wait for just a bit, but it's gonna be time to move on soon are the words I'm getting for you, which I know is kind of like a mix of both, but um, there might be something you're kind of getting out of waiting for a bit of a time, um, or there might be something you need to experience through that. The time to move on is soon though, is what I hear regarding all that, but do what feels light to you as well. The other thing you can always check in with, and this could help all of you is, um, I've heard a number of different ways to describe this and do this, and I've done it a number of different ways, but you can kind of check in with the energies with your body in a sense and be like, okay, what will it be like if I wait? And you'll kind of get that energy with like your body and you might feel like sad and and it might feel heavy and you're like, okay, what will it feel like if I move on? And if it feels like light and free and open and like better, then it's like, that's probably the move to go. So a couple of things I'll talk about with that is, I'm going to talk about two different ways, at least. Access consciousness is a modality. I'll listen to people, things that those People, okay, I listen to their audios and stuff. I use some of their tools. I haven't taken any like classes for certification with them because I'm doing my own thing over here so far, or just am, and um, that's what I've been guided to do. But one of the things that they've talked about is like you can kind of get the energy of your choices and where they'll go. So what will it be like, you ask the question, what will it be like in five years if I choose this? 
what will be it be like in five years if I don't? So for example, you could be like, what will my life be like in five years if I wait for my past relationship? And you get the energy of that. Okay, cool. Uh, what will it be like in five years if I move on from my past relationship right now? And so whichever one feels lighter and like better is the one to go with, you know? And that's one way to work with your knowing. And the thing is it can hit like just energy, depending on where you're at and how you operate, it can be just energetic and you like really feel like the energies around you lift or it could be your body response. Like you feel like sad and like you your body makes you frown or something like that when you sit with a choice and then happy and light and, and like a weight's lifted off your shoulders when it feels lighter for you. It's like, oh yeah, this is a great way to go. Or it could be a combination of that and above and beyond. Like I'll get... For me, where I'm at now, I get the energy, my body response, and then my guides will also add in information like, yeah, don't go this way, it's heavy. <laughs> so you can take that and run with it, but and there's no wrong way for it to show up. You just kind of have to see how it's showing up for you for starters and practice that. But the other way was kind of what we talked about with like walking your body into experiences, which is pretty similar, honestly, just um, maybe a different idea around it or mindset around it. We were like, okay, what will it be like if I choose this? body, how do you feel? Okay, awesome. What will it be like if I choose this other thing? Body, how do you feel? So um, hopefully that is also another useful tool that you could use for anything, um, whichever way you resonate with that um, for for making choices uh, with, with all that here. And you can practice those things sometimes with like smaller choices too. So for example, if you're like walking your body into oh, should I eat McDonald's or a salad or, or something like that? You're like, how will I feel if I eat? What will it be like if you eat the McDonald's and your body's like, Brr, or like, what will it be like if you eat the salad? It's like, yay, you know, or maybe it'll surprise you and the salad doesn't feel really great and you'll end up getting like a, you know, something like a burger that maybe from McDonald's, maybe not, that really was great. And um, depending on what your body needed in that moment. And that's the fun thing with intuition is um, sometimes we get to, well, what's the best way to say this? we get to bypass the assumptions and projections and maybe lies we bought about something like salad always good, burger always bad. <laughs> when burger, maybe body's like, no, I need protein and like that something in the meal is going to be something I need and salad will be fine, but it's not going to bring everything like I, and, and that's, by the way, I'm not saying to always eat burgers now. I'm not, <laughs> you have to take it in a balanced way. It's just um, take it on a case by case basis, but hopefully that's helpful as another thing to try. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Greta. I hope that helps. Uh, but probably move on overall. It'd probably end up being the... But trust yourself. Um, mm, okay. I think I need to... Close it, maybe. I got full body chills. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Um, sorry, Marie, for you, what I'm getting is New York is a better option for now. Um, Texas might be great later on, um, but there are like things that for you in New York still. Um, or maybe try looking in the area like around that if that doesn't feel right for you, but you'll probably end up moving to Texas eventually if that's still on your mind. <laughs> um that does make a lot of sense. Great, Greta. I'm glad I made a lot of sense. Sorry, I'm going back in the comments here. Um, sorry, guys. I probably need to close the live. Um, Kelly Heels, is it time for me to move away and start something new, somewhere new? Not yet, but it will be probably in the next, like, maybe sooner than the next five years. But I was like, not yet, but it will be soon. Kind of similar to what we just said for someone else. But um, not yet, but it will be soon. Um, so maybe not like right away, but if you give it like a year or two, you'll probably be like, oh, it's time to move. You know, it's kind of what I'm getting. Or if you kind of think in that time frame. Okay, guys. So I'm kind of hitting my point where I need to close it. But I, I know there was a lot of questions. I'm We'll see if I keep doing the, the questions in the TikTok lives or not. But I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has for the questions I did get to, it was helpful. Um, I'm getting some guidance on how to approach questions for some of the future TikTok lives, but I will 
because one of the things I do uh, in the monthly membership are pre-submitted questions, but we do like a whole session on it that's like an hour and a half long. We do like an hour of pre-submitted questions and like a full channel mode session at the end. And um, like maybe there's a way to field, or maybe it just doesn't fit the new format, but I was like, maybe there's a way to field like three questions that I tackle at the end of the live or something like that. Um, so I'll put that idea out there too. But um, yeah, I, I hope this has been good. I know I'm kind of cutting it short, but you're welcome guys. I'm wishing you um, so much good. You're welcome for the channel message in the collective of course. I'm, my plan is still to upload it on YouTube, probably like on Wednesday or something. Um, the other thing is, yeah, if you ever feel called to go further in my work, uh, you can always look at my website for my offerings, but I do have a free newsletter with channel advice on the week ahead that goes out every week and, and things like that. I have one-on-one um, -on -one readings. I need to open the scheduler up. Um, thanks for letting me know what take you're again. And <laughs> I have classes that are coming up. I need to schedule actually for April. So I guess not all those are up on the scheduler yet, but those are things I do. And then I also have monthly membership, monthly membership if I can get the words out with a lot of different content, um, with like the Q and channel day lives and then full channel mode and channel guided meditations and things like that and other MP3s for sale as well. So if you ever feel called to go further, that's there. Um, otherwise, you know, I'll keep posting my content on TikTok and on social media. So, and it was awesome to get to do this for you, even if it was a bit shorter than uh, I used to do it if it was an hour and a half instead of, you know, four hours or something. <laughs> when is the next membership live? That's next Saturday. Sorry, this upcoming Saturday, the 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, and if you're signed up for the membership, I just sent an email out to you guys today with some more information on that. Um, it should be in your inbox somewhere. So you have a good night too, Greta. Um, so I love you guys. I will... It feels so weird not doing the, the three to four hours, but I, I feel like it'll be a good change. Um, but you guys have a great evening, okay? Great hanging out with you, and I will see you in the future, okay? Well, do I close it yet? Okay, I already want to close it. We're just going to...